we still on for today? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to give it a little time because I just got a text say that package is on its way. Yeah, it, uh, I just grabbed two of them on support. Okay, let me check to see if those was it, but uh, I think one more coming and then once it get there, I'm going to be on my way. Yes. All right. Hey everybody, it is your favorite health and beauty professional, Kiki Carr, coming at you once again with another video, and today's video is another vlog, as you can see, so it's baby girl's birthday weekend slash holiday, she was born right after the 4th of July, I went into labor on the 5th and had her on the 6th, so um, this is a continuation of the last vlog, if you watch these vlogs it's kind of like chronological so I'm a little upset because I'm gonna have to throw this bed out it's absolutely nothing wrong with it I tried my best to sell it it did not sell and um, I have you know I don't have a home we live in an apartment so I can't store it anywhere and it will cost me money to move it over to my mama house in her garage to store it to try to sell it and then that and then if I did that I wouldn't be a blessing like I was trying to be I was only selling all of this the frame the box spring everything the mattress for a hundred dollars um, I wouldn't be a blessing if um, I moved it over there because at that point it would be costing me money to move it over there like I would have to get the U-Haul and then the U-Haul insurance and the gas and move it over there and laborers and all of that so then I would have to raise the price of the bed which um, you know I wouldn't want it to do I don't think it's really worth more than a hundred and fifty dollars two hundred bucks um, so uh, yeah I'm gonna have to just throw it out I really don't want to it it really upsets me to have to do it um, but you know she had a good run with this bed I was thinking about it we, we had it here not we haven't been here very long we're just like three months or something we had it at the last apartment we was there about a year and a half we had it at the apartment before that we were there like five years so man she had a good run with it you know she has gotten her use out of it it's still structurally very sound the mattress is new like look at it <laughs> It's nothing wrong with this bed. It's absolutely perfect. And I want it to be a blessing and give it to somebody. But it's just going to have to go in the trash. Because I like I have other things to think about. And I'm not about to worry about it. Like I already told y'all. My relationship with my mama not that good. So if I was to put it. Like she already has started with the bed. Like because I told her like I'm going to put the bed in your garage. And she like okay. So then it was time for me. I, I called my uncle. I'm like okay we're going to bring the bed over there on Monday uh-uh how what you bringing over here blah 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 i'm like uh the bed like we discussed and she like okay well if it don't sell um you know then just you're just gonna have to throw it out because if it don't sell so i'm not about to spend money to take it over there and then two weeks from today she's telling me that she's throwing it out anyway because it hasn't sold like and she hasn't even given me any time to sell it and you know let's not even talk about the fact that my brother has like two garages full of junk that she hasn't bothered him about but we ain't going that's not what this vlog is about i'm just i just made up in my mind that i'm not going to worry about it like i tried to sell the bed it didn't sell i'm gonna have to throw it out i'm heartbroken about having to throw it out but it's happening because like i have to move forward at this point um with getting the new furniture in here and moving on to the next thing to do I'm busy I'm booked I got a lot of stuff on my plate I'm not gonna worry about trying to sell a bed for a hundred dollars like I don't need the money that bad I was trying to be a blessing blessing to someone it didn't work out it's a great bed I hate to see it be trashed but it's just gotta go in the trash don't nobody want it and I can't store it nowhere you know what I mean so that I can even give it to somebody like here you can have it you know what I mean like I'm I can't store it nowhere so I'm done so we're about to go pick uncle up so that we can throw out all this old furniture in her room um and in exactly two days the new furniture will be here 
and my baby will have a big girl around because she'll be a big girl okay she ain't no little kid no more okay she getting baby girl getting up there driving age and everything okay so i'm so happy about that i'm proud of her she's a straight a student doesn't give me any problems hasn't given me any problems since the womb she gave me all my troubles when she was in my belly and ever since she came out she's been a godsend she's been an angel and she's been a blessing and i love her so dearly so Let's go ahead and get this day started. My water, and I shut my water off. I can't even wash up. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. Oh, this you crazy mother. So it's a quick change of plans too. I'm not gonna yeah. bring that mattress and stuff over here. I'm uh -huh. just gonna throw it out. Cause I mean, I, I was trying to be a blessing to somebody and sell it for cheap. Uh -huh. It didn't sell. So, I mean, it's gonna cost me money to bring it over here. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. So what we finna do now? Throw all of it out. Okay. <laughs> Get your TV and come right back. I ain't finna right. worry about all of that. That's a hassle. That's true. Going to get the then pickup, the truck, then the, yeah, no, uh, -uh yeah, just to try to to try to sell it. No, I would have to raise the price, and then you know Zoe got her use out of it. It's, yeah, it's fine. It's a good sturdy yes, a few bed. Few days too late. I would have could have just used the bed. Get I would have just bought the bed. You know. Yeah, just a little. Uh, you could have at least I bought the mattress. Two hundred for the, um that um what you call them. The futon. The futon, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said I ain't finna wear with it. It's a good uh, bed. I didn't want to. I didn't want it to throw it out. I would have liked to either give it to somebody or sell it to somebody, uh -huh. but it ain't. I ain't gonna worry about it. I, I counted how long, how many years she had it. I said that's good. She didn't get more than her mo your money's worth out of that Pretty mattress, much. you know. Pretty much. Yep. Okay, back home. Let me see if the water is back on yet. Hope so. No, it is not. You can put them in that plastic bag. Thanks. Told you.
She got a vacuum, but yeah, it's ready. Oh, we gotta take this out. Right. Oh. You gotta work my face out. Now, Cal, how are you? Didn't take up too much of your time today, did we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. You want me to get you a bottle of water? Yeah. Hey. Don't let this TV slide too. dormant I need to um, get reactivated and uh, get my account information and stuff because I want to start using it I didn't hear you it's a custodial account for her would I be able to get a uh, card to go to it or is it or you have to see Come on. Come on, 15. Oh, I need Should I get that lime juice? I got Come some. On. Come on. So we're back home. We made it back just in time because it is thunderstorming. 
here in Chicago we have had tornadoes and tornado warnings and rain for oh I don't know what two past three four days it's been raining very bad um, so we made it back just in time I'm about to clean up these couple of dishes and uh, probably go ahead and create this content that I need to do we're gonna have and yeah we're about to chill I gotta work tomorrow all day long praise God it's still bad. You shouldn't have all the lights on. True. Alright, we're gonna um sign off because I have to get ready to create this content and it's thundering bad. So talk to you later. goes in an empty room. It's, it go in an empty room. You'll see it. It's upstairs. Sir? Yep. So, the vet is not complete. Huh? The vet. What about it? So it's missing for the rail and the football. Um, how? Have the headboard, mattress, dresser, mirror, nice and chest. Except the bed is complete. Not complete. The bed not complete? Uh huh. Okay, you won't be able to assemble the bed? No. It doesn't have the rails? Except the rail and the football is missing. Two pieces for the Okay. For the so how, when you gonna be able to bring it? Huh? When you gonna be able to bring it? Oh, I don't know. Can you call this one number? Yeah. Um, customer service that's eight six zero three one nine two eight one five. Okay, let me show you where the stuff go. Okay. Kita car. Where's on the right here? The mirror. The mirror and the dresser right here. And the chair here. Right? Chest right there. Okay. Nice there next to the big. Uh, I was calling because the people are here with the uh, furniture, and they and I paid for it to be assembled, and um, he said he can't assemble the bed because there are some missing parts. Hello. Okay, so they told me that I have to call back once the store is open. You know once the store is open, I'm, I'm heated, right? Because I never bought a set and everything didn't come already ready to go. <laughs> like, that's the purpose of buying a set.
I bought a bedroom set and asked them to assemble it. So either they're going to bring back the rest of those pieces today, okay, or they're going to give me my money back for that assembly because you ain't have to assemble shit. You ain't assemble. There's absolutely no details about my order. It only says an order number, which like there's no picture of what I ordered or anything. So it's crazy, right? But you know, the great thing is that I ordered a set, and that's like that's clear. So everything should have came and the set like it's it's a no brainer Spencer full gray storage bedroom set that's what I should have got Okay, so that was rectified today. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I'm talking about. I don't like this mattress at all. It's flimsy. I'm going to have to get a new mattress. The box spring is cool. The mattress, it's a no. But what I paid for, I ain't going to worry about it. But um, it's not going to last her many years because it's not, it's not a good mattress. But anyway. Anyway. Let's go ahead and start my day because I've been fooling with this all day and it's finally done. Hey y'all. Happy 4th of July. It is the 4th of July. And I've been looking like hell all day. Don't ask. Okay? That's my business. Um, my neighbors are super rude. They have chosen to take up the entire back porch. Like, fuck if I want to go out there and barbecue and have guests over. Or just use my back porch for what I like to use it for. Repotting my plants or um, just my view. You know? They like, girl... Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck your couch, bitch. Anyway, um, I don't want much. I just wanted to pop in because it is the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Um, tomorrow, we're doing a lot of running around to get ready for my daughter's party. The 6th is obviously the party. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to come in real quick and just say hey. Because uh, I missed you. And, um... I'll see you tomorrow and we gonna have fun and I'm gonna show you my daughter room when she done with it so you see she in there you know getting it all together and everything we got her comforter and stuff today I ain't been vlogging nothing but you know shame on me but um I'm, I'm vlogging a little bit now and I just came to say hey and that I'll see you in tomorrow
you gonna work it out, Bob? Bob, how the new girl working out? Hey, look at her, everybody. Hey, look at her, everybody. Hey. What you watching, babe? Hey, everybody. Grand Rising. So today is July 5th. Tomorrow's my daughter's birthday, big 15. Um, oh shoot, I gotta get that stuff out. Um, a little bit of running around to do. Party prep, of course. Uh, taking her to get her hair done real quick. Um, things are not going as planned, but no. Still blessed. Everything is working out just fine. I'm still going to try to do everything that I'm supposed to do today as far as with my content and stuff. <clears throat> um, I wanted to try to run to the store real quick before I even took her to get her hair done, but that might not be possible and that's quite all right. Um, I'll live, she'll live, we'll live. The good thing is her hair appointment is so freaking early that um, even if it takes seven hours, which I'm sure it won't, but even if it does, um, the stores and all that stuff will still be open. And also, um, you know, while she's getting her hair done, I can obviously do a, do some running around. Um, I am prepared to sit there and stay with her because we are going to someone's house but you know me my discernment is it's pretty high up there so um, if I feel any type of way or she feel any type of way we definitely won't stay but um, I'm sure it's all good just a young black girl trying to do her thing you know I needed people to trust me at, at some point in my career and let me into their homes and come to my home and stuff like that so yeah that's those days thank God I'm, I'm so grateful that you know um, people don't have to come to my house no more uh, I still go to theirs you know when I do um, their makeup, wedding makeup, and stuff like that. I do still go to theirs, but uh, yeah. I'm sure everything's gonna be all good. I'm about to get me a little coffee in me. If I gotta do a bunch of back and forth and running around and all of that today, then then that's the day. Then that's the day. Like. God has been teaching me to go with the flow. Me being a Virgo, that was so hard for me at one point in time in my life because if things just did not go as planned, it just messed me up. And um, that's one thing that I have learned and been learning. It's just to go with the flow. Like, if you anticipate on... Your mama taking your daughter to uh, hair appointments so that you can stay on the south side and do all the running around and do everything that you're supposed to do and create the content and all of the grown up stuff that you need to do. If you anticipate on that and it don't happen, then oh, and you have to end up doing it all yourself, man. Hey, right? that's that's the thing. But anyway.
So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and put some lotion on my face and um, throw something on, throw my clothes on. Um, and I'm not gonna even try to attempt to do my hair. I'm gonna have to just get up early tomorrow morning, do the hair, get out here, pick up the last minute supplies, the cake and stuff like that, do the last minute running around, get the ice. It's just different different stuff that I'm I'm getting on tomorrow. Um and yeah. Shoot. I get up early in the morning and do my hair tomorrow morning and do my makeup real pretty and do the running around, come home and cook. The menu is not extensive. We're having nachos and a candy table. So like, it's not like I have to do the grill and flip meat and all that. We got nachos, that's what's on the menu. And a pizza. <laughs> I don't even know how many people come. So, um, when the food gone, it's gonna be gone. Like, my, my nigga. It's something quick because she got an entire bedroom set for her birthday. I told her, that's your gift. I said, and if you want to, you can invite some people over for cake and ice cream. So, yeah. All right, let me um do what I said I was going to do. I'll probably see y'all in the car. When we head over here to this appointment, I'm vlogging it. Yes, I am. Um, seeing how these people is and how they act. I'm gonna let them know you're on my vlog. Just so you know, you're on my vlog. That's what I mean about these people. They is unprofessional. Hello? Hello, did you get my message? Um, what message is that? I had sent message where I said I had overbooked myself because I have a client that showed up at 10 and I forgot I even booked her. Okay, we here, we're, we're here as well at 10, by our, our 10 o'clock. All right, um, is there any way I can just push you back? Um, she gonna have to come in and wait because she's here. Her birthday is tomorrow and she's been looking forward to this. I told you right, this was for my child, not an adult. All right, give me one second, okay? See how these people do? They so fucking unprofessional. <laughs> Incredible. 
so I'm definitely gonna say that too. Cause you asked her to come at 10. We had a nine o'clock. Can you um come to the back top stairs, please? It's all the way in the back. Remember you, all right. You said you said it was her birthday. She understands. She said she'll wait. Because this, remember we had nine. Yeah, nine and us. And then you. Here. I'm like, it's 10 o'clock and I'm like, oh, I forgot to even book you. But she said she'll hold off on you. Right here? Yeah. Then, uh, if you want to just sit right here real fast. Like, seriously? Like, seriously? Like, are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, I text at nine o'clock. This we had an appointment. Wait till I get in this car. Wait till I get in this fucking car. We already come to a house. It's just this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Whew. Man, it's hot. A lot more of okay, so <laughs> wait a minute. What are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> are you gotta be kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. She tried to fucking push my baby off. So first off, we had an appointment at 9 a.m. She asked us to come at 9, okay? Then yesterday, last night, she said, can we change to 10? So I said, sure. <clears throat> then today, I texted her at 9 o'clock in the morning and I said, hi, are we still on for my daughter's 10 o'clock a.m. Um, hair appointment? She said, yes. I said, okay, perfect. Is it any COVID restrictions? What do we have to do? Blah, blah, blah. Just was communicating. She like, yeah, please wear a mask. And um, she said, please wear a mask. And um, we still on, basically. So I said, okay, yeah, so how much? Um, I said, so how long do you think that this hairstyle is going to take? And I texted her the picture. She like five, six hours, maybe even shorter. And I said, okay. At 9.50, now my, my appointment is at 10 o'clock. I got the receipts right here. At 9.50, she texts, hey, are you on your way? 9.55, is there any way you could come tomorrow because I overbooked myself and my client just pulled up and I'll give you a discount. I text her at 10 o'clock here. Then she's calling, did you get my message? No, what message? I overbooked myself, bitch, I don't give a fuck, okay? I don't care. First off, I'm in the beauty industry. What do you think people be getting uh, um, appointments for? The hell of it. They get an appointment because it's a special occasion. They're getting married. It's their birthday. If they're going out of town, it's something. People not getting no appointment just for the hell of it. So why would you sit up and tell somebody at 950, can you um, push their appointment back 10 minutes and they supposed to be there in 10 minutes? And then you ask them, we had an appointment at 9. You asked us to come at 10. We come at 10. And then at 9 50, you sit up and talk and talking about you can't take us. Girl, don't make me go ham up in this motherfucker. No, you can take us. I know I can't come tomorrow. Her birthday is tomorrow. And I'm already out here. I text you at 9 o'clock in the morning. 
So if you're gonna tell anybody that you overbooked and 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 and, and push anybody off, push the person off who um push the other person off. Don't push us off. Ain't that about a bitch? She did an amazing job. Your ass, but it looks I love it. I do too. Oh. Last stop before we go home. Yeah, that's why I brought my walking shoes. I told her, I, I said that girl gonna do a lot of walking. Look, finish thing, we probably gonna be walking a lot. I don't have no shoes for that. You gotta get your You got gym shoes. shoes. Yeah. They hurt though. These are Skechers walking shoes. These sandals are. The same stuff, sandwiches and soup mm -hmm. and shit. I said the same stuff, sandwich and soup and shit. And the dollar store, Walgreens. Can I get the tuna salad sandwich? I want to give me some that. Some who? That. I could give you some when we get home. Tuna salad. Girl, I'm not paying for you no damn tuna salad. We got tuna at home. Huh. Uh, I hope these work out. I ain't looked at them. It's probably too late for the turn. We're going 
Thank you guys for joining us. Love you and I'll see you on the next one.